Hey there, Tenna. This is Shadow Scythe, and today we're going to be talking about the Dodge Neon. Wait a minute. This isn't an auto show. This is fucking Warframe. My bad. We're going to be talking about Excalibur. Now, alright. Lame joke aside, the whole reason as to why I kind of did that is because if any of you who are watching are car guys, then you know for a fact that Dodge Neon is a universal platform as far as cars go. Excalibur is very much the same way in Warframe. You take a look at his abilities, he's got... He's got his ranged radial javelin, he's got his ranged exalted blade, he's got radial blind for some crowd control, and then he's got slash dash for basically a gap closer. And if you have a strong enough weapon, then yes, it hurt. it's going to do an impressive amount of damage as well. But the other reason as to why I'm doing as to why I wanted to talk about Excalibur on this episode of Modded to Perfection is because as you can see, my Excalibur is utilizing five forma. So he comes with two innate polarities. Which, if I remember correctly, are probably this dash and this V polarity. Or, my bad, this D polarity, not dash. So, if I will double check that and put an anecdote in the video. But, uh, if I remember correctly, I am put these five in, which were for my survivability, my uh, power max, my power efficiency, and then... That was mostly just there. I left this open because the whole point of this, which depending on what you do, you may have to put a sixth forma in if you decide to copy this. This basically makes it so that you can do a hot swap of any aura mod and not have any conflicting results whatsoever. And then I was kind of just dicking around earlier. I felt like going back to these because I'm mostly just going to stick to using melee. But anyway, we are going to jump right into a mission. Oh, but actually before that... Now, the build that I'm going to be using is... more or less a high-efficiency build. Uh, streamline, fleeting expertise... Yeah, it's low duration, high efficiency. So, intensify and transient fortitude for power strength. I am not using blind rage just because then I will burn through my energy faster than I can get it. Because I don't want to burn energy pads and there's no guarantee you're going to have those energy drops or even be in squad with a trinity. Then, both of these two just give me that additional 90% power efficiency which is cranking me up to 175 New alert marked on navigation for antenna. whatever reason when the two of those together the two of those together equal out 90% but oh wait that's right power efficiency only caps at 175 my bad and my phone is blowing up because Daniel the Demon is currently streaming at the time that I am recording this. Alright. Anyway, let's get into mission. I feel like playing some software. As you can see, I quickly demonstrated both Slash Dash and Radial Javelin, and then right into Radial Blind. Primarily, now, the low, if the low duration is actually very, very efficient with a high efficiency build like this.
that frame drop though, holy shit. Just because of the fact that it makes it very, very easy. And it looks like we have a Loki in squad with us too. But the low the low duration makes it very efficient just because then you can if any new enemies happen to come out you can recast pretty much instantly and blind them as well and if that doesn't work if they are high enough level and you need to stagger them radial javelin does very good for some crowd control because it will stagger if it doesn't kill But that, like, I don't play Excalibur a lot, but when I do, I do have fun with him. Just because Excalibur, like I said, Excalibur is one of the four universal platform Warframes in the game. The other three being Excalibur Prime, Necros, and Necros Prime. Because no, the, those four don't have a dedicated aura slot. So essentially, you can format that up to match whatever you want, or you can leave it blank like I do so that you can have total freedom with it. But the other advantage is you can see, like, how... As much as I'm wasting some of my uh, strikes... I'm barely burning through my energy because I'm burning through like 1.5 energy a second. Now one thing that's nice is that they did at least fix this because as you know Exalted Blade inherits and I well Exalted Blade and I believe Slash Dash does as well where they get inherent da uh, damage off of your melee mods. And uh, before, when using the Prisma Skana, I could proc the uh, new Loka Augment mod with the Exalted Blade. So, those Augment mods are no longer inherent, which is nice. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. Very impressive, Tenno. You held them all back. Time to get out of here. And of course it is, Lotus. But... So, the Augment mods are no longer triggered on any Exalted weapon, which is nice, because they are weapon-specific. And Excalibur... Excalibur's got a range of different customization options, but that's for a later day. The whole point of this was just to show off uh, my low-duration build. Now, this is pretty much my... Uh, I'm just going to walk around and beat the shit out of you with my melee weapon. But the nice thing with Excalibur being so versatile in the ways that you can mod him is you can literally swap these around. Like, I could trade all of these power strength mods and fleeting expertise for duration mods. Like, I could throw prime continuity here i can swap this for narrow-minded and i can throw constitution here and then i'd swap steel charge for energy siphon and boom i just turned excalibur from an assault frame to a support what frame for an extended duration all radial blind all for. which is which that's that does work but that is more ideal for say interception missions raids 
op very open map defense missions where you can hit pretty much everything with one initial cast because then you just blinded it for pretty much the entirety of the wave because then as long as they're blind you can just annihilate them without any uh, retaliation and I think at one point I actually well I know at one point I did have a support build based around that however after forming Excalibur that was after I put like one forma into Excalibur I don't think I actually took the time to rebuild it after I put the other four on themselves. Well, this has been modded to perfection, and as you guys know, I'm still trying to get on my feet as far as YouTube goes. If you like the video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe. If you didn't, it's just not your cup of tea. If you would like to support the channel and its endeavors, check out my Patreon link in the description box below, along with my Twitter and player dot or my Twitter link and my player.me referral link. And until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.